<laughs> hey, 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 hey. Just want to take just a moment out of my day to say happy Easter to everyone out there. Um, you know, it's whether you celebrate the day as a religious day, you celebrate the day as kind of a, you know, changing of the year, the season. Um, just kind of want to do a little shout out and wish everyone a happy Easter. Um, I'm feeling kind of festive, so just want to drop this on Easter or film this on Easter. I'll probably have to drop it on my turning pro day, but just wanted to stop in and say hello, get into the studio and say happy Easter everyone. Enjoy. <laughs> Hey everybody, Mark Johnson here, founder and creative director of Able Ape Studios. Back again with another vlog. This is going to be number 14. And uh, like you just saw, you know, was, this past Sunday was Easter. And um, I remember the days when it was, I don't know if it was super exciting as a kid, but I mean, there was some excitement built around it in the sense that you get dressed up and go to church, right? And um, uh, obviously those days are way, uh, way gone. But uh, um, I don't know. Just kind of, you know, took my time with my day yesterday, and uh, you know, felt, you know, wanted to get in some reverence, you know, for you know the meaning of the day, and um, did that, and just kind of cut it real low key, you know, nothing too, nothing too stressful. Um, I would think the past week, one of the things that kind of came up that I didn't, I guess I didn't expect to happen, but did happen, was the fact that I realized that I was really becoming really indecisive. You know, I don't necessarily know why. You know, I understand my situation does plan for some kind of planning now, right? I mean, does does you know come with that? You know, you know, planning the ride, scheduling the ride, you know, who's going to do this, who's going to do that. Um, you know, getting errands run and then this kind of thing. And um, it can be a little hectic, but I don't think uh, that's where it was coming from. You know, maybe it was, you know, maybe I've kind of grown into that and just being hesitant of, you know, making plans. Um, I think the other one was that, you know, I had an opportunity to go and do social things, but I was definitely not about it. You know, I didn't feel like wanting to go and be social. I don't think I was doing that in uh, uh, a way of being, you know, shut-in dude, you know, guy that doesn't want to be social. It was just more like, I mean, there were so many other things that I wanted to do, but I didn't get a chance to get to do them. So, you know, um, I recognized that early in the week, maybe like Monday or Tuesday, I was just kind of like, where's this coming from? And so, you know, going into Wednesday and then Thursday, I was like, yeah, something's up, something's up. So I kind of took note of that and kind of this weekend took some time and just kind of did, you know, some self-care in the sense of, you know, maybe getting some uh, good positive vibes into me, um, you know, reading some things, listening to some music that was, you know, in a sense more positive, had some, you know, uplifting words, um, just to kind of get out of that, you know. And then some of the stuff that I did was also maybe some stuff that I used to listen to early on, you know, but kind of stopped doing it over the year. Um, I think I also need to get back to journaling. I think that was helpful, you know, start my day, kind of get the my thoughts out of my head onto paper, you know, realizing that, you know, there's other things going on. I think that's what is so cool about this book, about Turning Pro or any of the series. I'm actually going to... Um, ordered the other book, which is um, Nobody Wants to Read Your Shit. <laughs> That's what it's called. And um, it, it, again, it's by Stephen Pressfield. And um, I don't know, I just kind of like the series of books because he doesn't really, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't BS it. You know, he kind of tells you about the way it is. And so, Turning Pro, um, The War of Art, what's the other one? Um, Do the Work. All of those books are kind of definitely books that just kind of really just cut through the bullshit just kind of tell you what's up and um, you know it's kind of be, you know, help me be mindful of that um, work wise still working with a realtor uh, got some more clarity on the uh, commission art piece um, you know still working with my sister on the Airbnb um, as it comes summertime it may pick up but it may not you know it's kind of one of those things 
you would think it would pick up because it's summertime, but I think at the same time, it may pick up so much that there's not very many uh, vacancies or openings um, to do the Airbnb, so that might be the downfall. But uh, no, let's keep continuing on that. Um, you know, I think one of the things I never really talk about or don't talk about too much on here is the, the script that I've written that I'm going back. It's a rough draft right now, but I'm going back and putting little touches on that. Um, and as I'm reading, going back through and rereading it, you know, it's pretty engaging. You know, I'm obviously I'm an author, but uh, yeah, it feels pretty engaging. You know, I thought there would be a lot of holes in it, a lot of things that I messed up. But uh, it feels pretty good right now at this point, and so I'm going to keep continuing on all the way through. Get that first kind of you know, light edit, and then hopefully I can get someone, someone to read it and give me some other feedback. But um, no, I, I, I feel pretty good about that. It's just that I gotta keep the momentum going um, by doing something every day, you know, because my strategy is less about doing, you know, big bulks of, you know, like deep diving. It's, it's less about that because I just don't really have the time to kind of, you know, spend lots of time on one project, you know, and so I try to do something every day, so it's like I'm laying the brick, you know, I'm in the process and every time, you know, that brick kind of, um, fills the space or, you know, the wall is built. And so that's kind of my strategy, you know. Um, you know, I, and I know it works. You know, maybe I'm a little impatient sometimes about it, but I know it works. So I just gotta stick to it, keep keep on, keep it on, and, um, you know, see these things through. I mean, I know last time, or last video, I talked about, you know, the 100 days, and I kind of went and did a little review, and, you know, talked about, you know, the projects that I was working on. And so I went through and I kind of had a little spending time. I don't know if you can see that. But there you go. See, so in the red, what I did is, so I put every, all the projects down in black and then, you know, just kind of decided where I want to go from here. Do I want to keep going on this project? Of course, I want to see all the projects completed, but, you know, in reality, maybe that's not necessarily something that's possible, right? Um, no, it's possible. <laughs> it's possible. Uh, but, uh, and then in red, I wrote where I would like to go from there. So in the sense like, okay, or what would be the best step to take from there? Or even just take a step, you know, put some action into it. Because if I haven't really gotten into the project, you know, I need to, you know, revive it by doing something, just like one little thing. So I, you know, gave myself a couple steps to kind of follow, to kind of push that along. And, um, yeah, again, it's another week. Back to the grind. <laughs> so, yeah, hope everyone's off to a great week. Hope your Easter was well. And um, got another vlog in. So, like we always do at this time, have a blessed day. See you on the flip side. Let's go.